Hello, my name is Dr. Monica Gaur. I'm consultant radiologist and uh, fetal medicine specialist. We'll start with the ovarian period. Ovarian period is uh, week one and uh, week two. Week one and week two, which is uh, the time when menstruation finishes after five days, then ovarian follicle, I mean, one of the follicle matures automatically, ovulation occurs and corpus luteum forms. Third, uh, second part is conceptious period. Conceptious period is week three to week five. So this is what happens after the fertilization. Oocyte has been released. Fertilization has occurred. Clavage has been done day two, day three, day four, day eight, day four, day five, day six, day seven, and implantation. This is nothing but the normal physiology of the implantation, which occurs at, in, during the first trimester. So what the double decidual sign means? Double decidual sign means thick membrane, thick uh, covering of the gestational sac. We see this gestational sac here, and this is all around the covering. This is decidua, decidua basalis, decidua parietalis, and together they form double decidual sign. Evaluation of first ultrasound done during pregnancy. So again, coming to the point, because I'll be emphasizing more that why do we do, why do we, uh, we give so much of importance to the first ultrasound, which is done during the pregnancy, because it is the most important one among all. Uh, yes, of course, I'm not excluding level one. I'm not excluding level two. They have their own importance. But yes, a good first trimester ultrasound do gives us a good outcome. How do, are we going to label it as an embryonic pregnancy? It's just not eyeballing that we saw a sag, we saw a big, big sag. Now, fetus is not seen. Now, it is an embryonic, an embryonic pregnancy. No, it is not so. Embryonic and embryonic pregnancy is something which we label when we see MSD. MSD is mean sac diameter, more than 10 mm, but without yolk sac. So, we have a thick decidual reaction. Then, a Thin, thin line, this is not, nothing but the amnion, yolk sac, and fetal pole, fetal pole. So this is something which is seen in somewhere around six to seven weeks of gestation. And these are the things which you are going to look in each and every first trimester scan. So a good gestational sac with a good decidual reaction. This thin is the amnion, yolk sac, chorion is somewhere here. Sac line in the cervix. This is the uterus above. This is the cervix of uh, this is the cervix and this is the vagina. And look at the implantation of sac near the internal os. And of course, if we see a sac in the cervix, that means we know the os is open. And if you want to see the open os, this is how open os looks like. So collection in the cavity, uterine collection in the cervical, and os is open. Now risk factors are what? previous ectopic pregnancy. This is something which is uh, which has to be taken into account. So yes, these are the cases which comes at early stage at somewhere around five weeks. Otherwise, normally they come to us, they land up to us at seven, six or eight weeks. But if the lady is coming to you at five weeks, which is also they are specifically told by the gynec to go for the scan at five weeks. Now, those are the cases you have to be very careful. This is how normal molar pregnancy looks like and it is called as snowstorm appearances. These are the cystic area. These are the proliferative part in the uterine cavity. A typical image of the molar pregnancy. Once you want to uh, call it a, a pregnancy as molar, show us th this picture. And then, yes, of course, we believe you that this is the molar pregnancy. Now, coming to the first trimester pregnancy dating, CRL is used between 16 to 14 weeks. Still 14 weeks, we do use CRL. Though it should be our habit that after 10 weeks, we need to see the BPD as well, because there is something called a butterfly sign in 10 to 11, 12 weeks, which is very much of importance. I'll talk about it when I'll talk about the level one ultrasound. This is how we do the overestimation. Two images with you. We see the fetal pole inside the amniotic sac, and this is yolk sac. Here also we see the uh, fetal pole and yolk sac is somewhere here. What we have done is here, it is okay. We have 
taken uh, the part of CRL, but we have extended our cursor till the amniotic membrane. 